will take five suggestions from random areas of the room, then I'll do a freestyle rap about those suggestions. Oh if you are in this area of the room, what would you like a rap about? Lesbian sex mafia! Oh, great! Cool. I, 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 yeah, it was going to be a shit suggestion, then he added that final word, and... It doesn't mean it's a great suggestion, but it's a suggestion. So, lesbian sex mafia, yeah. Um, guys over here, what would you like a rap about? My life if I was a dog. What type of dog do you think I would be? Oh, that was so quick from someone else. Either you're very quick at assessing someone's personality, or you had a discussion before you made that suggestion, expecting my question. I'm going to have to ask you, what is a Great Pyrenees? I, I, I'm not familiar with that breed of dog. It's a French mountain dog, so they're like about anywhere from 75. I feel like for that, it, you know, usually the rap's just me. I feel like we should have a featured artist on this one. Where I'm like, let me tell you some facts. About 75 to 100 pounds, yeah. Okay, they're a French mountain dog. So they're like, that's a, 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 a reasonably large dog, yeah? Okay, cool. Are they loyal? Yeah, very. Good with kids? Okay, cool. Yeah, I know what's good for us. My life if I was a dog, specifically a French Pyrenees. Lesbian sex mafia. Let's, uh, let's come to the middle of the room. What would you guys like a rap about? I, I didn't hear any of that, but it sounded, it sounded good. A wax figurine curator. Yes, okay. Wow, that, that's a great phrase. Let's come over here. What would you guys like to rap about? A monkey jockey on a goat. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I feel like all of you might be slightly stoned. <laughs> Let's be a sex mafia. My life if I was a dog, a wax figurine curator, and obviously I'm a French Pyrenees, and a monkey jockey on a goat. Guys over here, it's actually a pretty good collection of suggestions so far, so you've got the kind of pressure of not fucking it up, so what would you, what would you like a rap about? Chinese soup dumplings. Chinese soup dumplings, okay. Wow, that's the most popular one so far. Great. Um, Chinese soup dumplings. Well, this then, lovely people, is, uh, is going to be a, a freestyle. That's a rap made up on the spot based entirely on suggestion. Not written, not prepared, not rehearsed. And uh, don't worry, it's not anywhere near as atrociously bad as you're expecting it to be. Let's drop that beat and let's uh, have some bloody fun about all this shit. <laughs> If I was a dog, I'd be pissing on trees Lift up my leg and I bend at the knees People walk past say, what is these? I'm like, bonjour, French Pyrenees <laughs> <laughs> It just comes out of the wolf wolf sound Out the side of my mouth, I have real fun It's the best of the jobs, fuck doing comedy I'll be living as a dog, I'll be walking around Getting all the bitches Have fun on the field with the big stick I'll be running around, going where I want and when I want to sleep, I just do it Cause I don't give a fuck about getting on a bed or a cushion If I was a French one, yeah, my admission I'd be kind of different from the ground I'd be weighing maybe like 90 pounds Cause I'm well built, slim with the muscle If you steal the stick from me, you're gonna be in trouble I'm going over there and I follow you home I'm like, bite, bite, bite And I'm stealing the ball that you took from me Let me move on If you want to see a lady could choose one to go with another Yeah, getting up to you Do a bit of scissoring when you're in the map of your life Yeah, I'm a stranger The lesbian rubbing like a fire danger Checking them in bed with the horse's head Because that's what the mafia do When they said they could make an offer that you can't refuse Let's be it two ladies, not two dudes They be over there, being in the home scene They be like, fuck the Corleones, we're maybe Betty and Sarah we're having fun, everybody is aware for sure They're like, yo, I might thank you later I'll be up to the museum checking out the curator Like, what's your approach? How do you attack? Getting all the sculptures made of the wax He's like, well, I'm ever so glad you asked I've got a big list and I'm up to the task I try and figure out who's famous 
famous now? Who will come to the museum? Who will draw the crowds? And so, Megan and Harry, yes, we get them in the hallway. But other people now, we ignore them. Not as exciting. So I get a big sculptor. I come in, he's like, I don't mean to insult ya. Can you get this celebrity from Angles? He'd be like, yes, have you got some candles? Cause that's the raw material they need to use. They the ladle and then I'm like oh yeah what I say the little shimp wants hard out today I put them right in my mouth it's number one but the cheapest on the menu probably the wonton when it's there in the supermarket I'm ever so hungry the spice it starts it it starts firing up in my belly and I'm like feeling silly because I got the dumplings with a bit of extra chili and now my mind over there my brain's gone flat so remind me shout it out from the back can we forget it? It's not even a horse, it's not even a man like Frankie and Dottori. Two different animals in this story. The one down there, yeah, you're flipping your lid. It's not a dog, sadly, it's a goat or a kid. That's what the juvenile ones they are called. And then you think it was a guy on top with being really small, but he's not. Yeah, he's furry, but still hungry. Ride that goat. What the fuck? It's a monkey. <laughs> Fuck the orangutans and all the other ones Yeah, they can't even stand, they can't be It's such a shame that he'll never be in the Wax Museum Hall of Fame